In this video, we're going to talk about how to grade essay questions inside of an As You Learn quiz. So I have three um, sample students. These are not real students, obviously. Um, a essay exam uh, with three um, just questions that are pulled randomly from the internet uh, with some random answers in them. So these are neither uh, real students nor real answers uh, to these, just an example to show you in this grading. Um, so if I look at the exam, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my questions. And so here are my three essay questions. And notice that I've changed the values of each of these. They're not worth one point each. This one's worth 10. This one's worth 10. This one's worth 20. These do not have to add up to the maximum grade for the quiz. It will auto adjust. So there are 40 points. Uh, it will scale those to meet whatever my max grade is. Uh, so these don't have to add up uh, to exactly the maximum grade. It will adjust. Uh, if I go back to quiz, if I look at attempts, so I th see my three sample students and their um, requires grading for the three questions that they gave. I can look at a specific student and so I can come in here and look at all of their answers to all three of the questions. So uh, this is one student and the three answers that they gave. Uh, this is an important way to do this if the answers interact. So I might have a question that the answer to question number one will affect the answer to question number two. I need to see them in one location. So for question number one, I would say make comments and overrides. I would come here and go uh, very good point and give them some feedback and notice this is out of 10 uh, so I would give them an 8 and those changes I just hit return there uh, and those changes have been saved uh, and then that question has been graded and here it is where I graded that uh, so this is the kind of timeline uh, and their score for that so that's a great place to do it if you need to see all of their answers the next thing we can do is if we just go to quiz and look at attempts again, here where it says grades, I can do manual grading. And what this does is it gives me um, a location to see all the answers say for question number one. So if I go to grade all three, uh, some things that I can do up here is I can change the questions per page. So right now I'm showing five. There's only three students, so it would show all three of those. I can actually order the attempts randomly. So I like to set this so I see a nice block of questions. I like to randomize the answer, uh, the, the order in which the students appear, their answers appear, uh, because it keeps me from always grading the same student first, the same student last. So here's the first student. And remember, I went in and graded this student's first question uh, using looking at all theirs. So their grade is already in here. Uh, but then I can come here and read the second student's grade and go, yeah, not bad. Not bad. And I would give them out of a, a 10. So I'm going to give that student a 9. And I'm going to come down here um, and look at this last student. And um, grade work. And I will give the student um, an 8 on this one as well. Uh, and then we're going to save that and return to the list of questions. So now you can see uh, SA1 has three updated grades. Um, if I go into this next one, uh, and I can go through that. So now I've gone through and done that uh, for each of these. If I want to change it after the fact, um, want to go back and look at it that is what this update grade so I'm gonna click on that real quickly just to show you remember this question was out of 20 so I would give the points accordingly so just to show you how those look uh, now if I go back to quizzes and go back to attempts you will see their grade has been calculated here's what they made for each question uh, and it is scaling those out of 100. So remember this first one was worth 10, second one was worth 10, third one was worth 20. So that scaled that up to 100% and that's 25, 25, and 50. So these are worth 
twice as much because it was 10 and 20. So that's out of 100. So that shows those grades for each question scaled up and the total for the grade. So that is how you can uh, go back and look at those uh, pieces. Additionally, you may want to download your students' responses so that you can uh, look at those locally. There's not a way to upload them back in, but there is a way you can download their responses so that you can see um, what they wrote, that you could comment on those. And inside the quiz, we're going to go to results. And remember, we went to manually grading before, but now we can go into uh, download essay submissions. It says select the folder hi hierarchy. Do you want it to do it uh, question by question? So it would give question one and all the responses, or do you want to do it by user? Again, uh, depends on how you want to grade these and if the questions interact. I'm going to do it essay -wise, question wise so it'll give me a folder for each question and then the students responses. Um, I'm going to include the text response file and including the, the text file. So we'll see what we get here. We're going to download. Uh, we're going to save that to the desktop. And so now if we go here uh, and look at the desktop here is the, th is the questions that come down as a zip file. So we're going to uh, extract all of those. So now we have uh, those files. Here's the sample essay. Uh, here it is open. So it says question one, Q1, essay one. And here are the uh, different answers to that. Here is the question text. That is that separate file that we wanted uh, that says what the question is. So we're going to go into this student. And here is the file that we got for uh, that particular student's response. Uh, here is what they responded. I could make notes on this uh, and send that back to the student if I wished. Um, so that is a way to look at those grades or those responses uh, downloaded.